And now here is his opponent. Please welcome Abu Azitar. Azatar emerging from the mist with the Moroccan flag around him, really a journeyman, sometimes representing Germany, spends a lot of time in Holland, but tonight it is the Moroccan flag that he's waving, a very strong wrestler, Enzo, at 12 and 1, seven KOs, just one submission. Yeah. And it's amazing if you look at both these fighters' tail of the tape, their numbers are very identical. 5'10", 170, 5'11", 170, 71 and a half inch reach for Azatar, 71 inch reach for Mike Aaron. I've never seen a fight so evenly matched like yep. this one. So both fighters are inside the Decagon, set to go here in the welterweight division. This one's scheduled for three rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Fight.TV. Enjoy MMA on TV when and where you want to. We are scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. His record, 16 wins, 10 defeats, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 171 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Orlando, Florida, making his second appearance in the Decagon. Introducing Mad Mike Errant! And now his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His record 12 victories, one defeat, one draw. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Köln, Germany. Also making his second appearance in the World Series of Fighting. Presenting Abu. Gladiator Azitar! Your referee for this fight is Mark Wassum. So Mark Wassum controlling the action inside the cage. The lovely Emily Miller with us here in Kansas City, Missouri as we get set for three rounds in the welterweight division. Judge, you ready? Judge, you ready? Judge, you ready? Fight, you ready? Fight, you ready? Here we go! Fight! Here we go. So you got one guy that would like to keep this thing standing and punching, and Mike Aaron probably, and then Abu Azatar, who comes out obviously kicking and striking right off the bat. Mike keeping the, the, the left, the, the softball position. Calmly trying to approach him. That's it. <laughs> So Mike Aaron fires off the big shot, the big left. They go to the clinch against the cage. Enzo, in your camp in New York training, is this something that your your all your students and athletes get time against the cage and just this yeah, grind yeah. it out? We train a lot against the walls. Basically. This is not sexy to work on yeah, this, is it? Yeah, no, it's annoying, and it's a different kind of wrestling because you the cage prevents you from pushing your hip back. So this the the, the, the sprawling you're not able to do it to reach the sprawl position that's why it's a lot of the fighters drive their opponent against the cage to bring them down it's much easier to bring even a, a very good wrestler down than the middle of the cage and now it's azitar that is coming forward Being very aggressive letting the hands go wow abu azitar gets tagged there with a straight right from mike aaron you gotta be careful with the left hand Boy, he came full of series and put his head down. Mike is playing very calmly and he's landing some shots. Mike Aaron on the left side of your screen. Now on the right side, Abu Azatar on the left. Beautiful combination, left kick, right kick with the left hand. 
A little bit of blood coming out of the eyelid on the left side of Abu Azatar with a beautiful, nice inside kick. And, out, and Mike Eric just acknowledges it with a head nod. Like, yeah, that was, that was nice. He got it. This time he catches it, though. Mike has a very interesting tattoo at his ribs. It means uh, jiu-jitsu in, in Japanese. Look at you. Kanji. What don't you do? That's amazing. Happy to have Henzo After Gracie, being there the for 47 here. times, we got to learn something. You especially the name things. of the art that we love. So after an early flurry from Abu Azatar, he now is Henzo backing up and yeah, he, he was, walking he, him down. He, he received some hard strikes against the cage here. Aaron so coming in, look at that, loading that left. It's being hard for him to defend the, 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 the left hand coming in. As we mentioned at the top, both very accomplished fighters. Mike Aaron just walking him down, walking him out, loading up that left. Beautiful right hand. Beautiful from Azenta. Good luck. He's doing a good job trying to counter when Mike moves forward. Abu Azatar really has such a, a strong wrestling background, and something we've yet to see so far. Something that might emerge in the latter rounds. This one's scheduled for three in the welterweight division of the World Series of Fighting. Beautiful. Uh, uh, okay, goes with the top. front leg. That was perfectly connected. Azatar snaps that one off. Aaron gets his arm up just in time to deflect it away. Wow. Nice take down. Perfect timing. So here you see Abu Azatar in control. He's trying an arm lock right now. Mike Azatar Aaron's was fishing. able to defend. Mike did a very traditional arm lock. He began by, 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 by grabbing his opponent's leg and spinning his hip to get the arm. It was a beautiful attack. It was very close. He's getting up. Asata doing a beautiful job with the strikes as he's coming up. Another takedown. Mike Aaron certainly paying the price to get to his feet as Abu Azatar raining down some heavy leather. Now he goes to work with another 30 seconds to go here in round number it, one. It's amazing because he, he looked tired yeah. right before the first takedown. And look at the intensity that he's bringing in. Abu Azatar all over Mike Aaron. After Mike Aaron controlled much of the first round of this fight, scheduled for three. And now it's Azatar really just all over Aaron. Round and pound, very strong to end round number one. Very intense round. Really a tale of two rounds here in round number one as Mike Aaron controls the first two minutes and then the last minute and a half, two minutes, you'd have to give to Abu Azatar. Definitely, definitely. He's afraid of you. Okay. Ah, I will not. Listen, he's afraid of you. You're doing very good. Look at the first shot right in, look. As he faked it, he shot in. It was perfect timing. Mike could not sprawl, he was moving forward. And that was the beginning of... Look at the arm lock, he tried it. His mistake was to cross his feet, which allowed Azata to actually pull his, his elbow out. That's what actually saved him. The little technical mistake allowed him to pull the elbow out. So Abu Azatar with a great finish to round number one. It's amazing. Look how, how fresh he looks. Yeah. Azatar looks now. He, he looked very tired on the beginning, I think, from the in consequence of the strikes that he received. But now he seems like he's 100% Here we back. go, fires. Round two, round two, fight! Round number two underway here in Kansas City Memorial Auditorium. WSOF 33, Todd Harris, Henzo Gracie, and Mike Aaron comes out, sensing the need to score some points quickly. Aaron looking like he's a man on a mission for more. In his corner, we check in with Joey Varner. All right, Todd. Well, the corner of Michael Rudd wanted him to stay calm, stay composed, use those feints, and look for the straight left down the pipe. They really feel like Azatar is afraid of the power of Arant and that he can find a home for that big left hand and end this fight early. Definitely, he's been, sh he's been showing this throughout the whole first round. He was actually calmly looking to step outside his opponent's foot, outside Azatar's foot to land that, that, that big left hand right in the middle. Mike, 
even though Azatar received a few of those gobs, he was very he was very skillful in terms of avoiding those strikes. Wow. He kicks Mike kicks very efficiently with the front leg. He already had like a, at least three shots. Again, look. Good speed, Azatar Good speed and without kind. power. If Mike had a little bit more power on those kicks, it would be extremely dangerous. Oof. That missed for an inch. Azatar comes in with that leading right. It, it's, it's such a funny fight because both have the same strategy, if you notice. One with the right uh, position, right standing, and the other one with the soft paw. But both are doing the same strategy. The only difference is that the, 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 the Azatar actually use more takedowns and play from the top, which is guaranteeing him a, a, a win up to now. You give him round one to Azatar. Definitely, then. definitely. Staying very active here at round number two as we approach three minutes to go. This one's scheduled for three. And Mike Aron seems to be a little more cognizant of the takedown abilities of Abu Azatar, keeping his range a little bit more this time. It's a, it's, it's a difficult thing after you're getting taken down a couple of times to keep moving forward with the same confidence that he had before. And Azatar is doing a good combination of the takedown with the fakes and throwing the hands heavy, which Mike has to actually defend. He can't get hit with those, those haymakers that are coming extremely strong right in the middle of his guard it's a lot of power in those legs <laughs> a conversation breaking out in the middle of the decagon and a great combination from azatar that time with striking so now it's abu azatar who's coming forward more He's been very efficient with that game, with the fakes, look, and then now might change his stance back to left. Nice jab. And a lot of those shoots are landing. A lot of those kicks. Great adjustments being made by Abu Azatar in his corner. Beautiful, and he comes beautiful. forward overhand. Right. Again. Wow. He landed. He felt. Mike felt that one. Yep. Azatar Abu says it now the time, and here he comes. Mike is working for a takedown, trying to, to get some time. Great sprawl by Azatar. He's blocking the line. Let's see right now. Going for a single. Azatar actually is bleeding a lot now. Cut somewhere on the nose. Yep. It's actually on the nose. Mike Aran had a lot of taste of that first round ground and pound from Abu Azatar, trying to stay away from that. And yeah, a lot of blood now coming from the nose of Abu Azatar. But as you know, Enzo, that anytime you hit the nose that hard, it's going to bleed. It's actually, it's, it's not blood. That's a little bit of pride going on. <laughs> this is nothing. This is this happens when you play even soccer or you play American football. You pump you, you bump your nose, it's this is nothing that in a week. Oh, that was awfully low. Was Time. Hey. Awfully low. Excellent. Time. Hey, fighter, fighter. Oh, new to corner, new to corner, recover, recover. It's actually Mike Arant that brought the attention to that low kick to it was close, okay. Mark Wassum. When things get intense like this, it's hard to control. You turn yeah. the kicks, you, turn, you, you know? Certainly a stoppage that I think has to benefit Mike Aran at this point. Uh, Abu was just in a rhythm. But at the same time, Abu, if Abu rushes a little bit, he's going to come back more intense. He's, he's being very intense on this, especially on this round. Time back in here in round number two. Final 10 seconds of round two here in Kansas City. Mike Aran. 
trying that Time. back spinning kick, and it's just telegraphed a little too much for someone as talented as Abu Azatar. Beautiful round. Walks that right was a away beautiful from round. So round number two going the way probably of Abu Azatar if you're scoring at home. Henzo Gracie, let's put you to the test here. What do you see? Look how efficiently he's he's throwing his hands, and it's becoming uh, for Mike extremely difficult to to find the, 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 a good position to prevent the takedowns. Look, he's able to push him against the fence. Mike, he felt that when he got hit by right. Azatar, and then he tried to take Azatar down. Azatar was very efficient in blocking, bringing his hand up, keeping himself up, and at that moment that his nose, he, he got a hit. And then he stopped bleeding from his nose. A beautiful drop from both of them. Okay, here we go. So after a quick wipe down and a sip of water, both fighters set to go in the third and final round here in the welterweight division. Here we go, fighters. Round three, round three, fight! And so if you're in the corner of Mike Aron, what are you telling your fighter here in this third and final round? I would, I would, I would actually tell him to move forward, stepping outside uh, as a, uh, Azatar, front leg, throw the right, the left hand more often and push him and try to take him down. He has to have a dominant position now, especially on this round, to, to, to make things better for him. Right now, he's not ahead in the game. You know, Azatar is winning probably both rounds. It's going to be extremely hard for him if he doesn't knock him out to win. So he has to have a really, really dominant round in this one. And for more of the Azatar camp, we check in with Joey Varner. All right, Todd, the corner of Abu Azatar is satisfied with his performance, but what they want to see out of him is head, body, head attack. Multi-levels. They feel like he does the most damage and scores the most when he's attacking all three levels. Hey, you probably have to agree with that because he came out initially and it was all striking. Then he went and he mixed in that takedown or two, and he's been using those kicks really well to set things up. Extremely smart. He made him very uncomfortable with those kicks, which is allowing him to throw his hands better. And he's able to, to get closer to him for a takedown or better strikes. If you notice, Mike is a little bit insecure of moving forward all the time. And as attack keeps landing. Henzo, as a, as a fighter that's facing someone like Abu Azatar, let's use him as an example, and he's attacking you in multiple areas with the kicks, high and low, middle, inside leg to stomach, plus punching, plus takedown. Where should your eyes be you, all the time? You have to clinch. You have to be into the clinch and make Azatar try to move away. You can strike him or counter him. Every time he moves forward, you have to counter him. You can't you can let him freely do what he's doing. Stop! Time! Mouthpiece comes flying out. And it's going to go right back in. It's, it's amazing the sport we share for those. You know, yeah. How great the sport is. Boy, those kicks are just so effective. He's gone yeah, it's top like shelf, it, it, middle it's, section. People at home could be sitting next to this ring, to this cage, and hearing what you hear, hear the noise of those kicks exploding against his opponent is amazing. Azatar starting to feel a little more confident now. You see, but the, there's another low inside kick. And remember, he still has that takedown ability in his back pocket. And that's what actually makes him Mike extremely uncomfortable. It's bothering him to move forward. That was a beautiful kick for Mike, but it's making it hard for him to move forward to, to find a good situation to be able to strike or to counter Azatar. Abu Azatar. Left side of your screen there, looking to run his record to 13 and 1. Mike Grant looking for his 17th professional victory. Coming up on the final two minutes of this bout in the welterweight division. Abu Azatar with a straight right, right down the beautiful fight. straight right. Now for Mike Grant, he's got to find some way in the next two minutes or less to make something happen here and leave a real big impression on, on the judges' minds. Honestly, I think if it goes to the judge, Michael will lose. He needs to win this fight. He needs to, to believe and move forward. 
or the fight will belong to, to Azatar today. I gotta be honest, I'm very impressed with Abu Azatar because on your scorecard you'd have him up two rounds. And he's not backing down playing conservative prevent defense. He's still coming he's forward. He's looking for the win. It's amazing. He, he's, he's fighting extremely well. That was a beautiful combination for Mike. That was one, two, and landed it straight. If he doesn't keep that, yep. odds are he's losing that match. Final 65 seconds of this one. Mike Rout now in close corners, but he's got to make something happen. He's got to score points and quickly. is doing something extremely efficient. Every time Mike comes for the strike, he counters immediately with a, with a very strong crunch overhand right or, or with the hook. And that plays really well on the judges, doesn't it? Yes. And, and it stops Mike from keep moving forward. He's not able to continue his sequence. Azatar taking a look up at the big jumbo screen. See how much time is left. It's under 10. Dance and now Mike Arant really is going to have to let his hands go. And it's Azatar that's coming forward. It definitely won that match. Abu Azatar finishing with a flurry there as Mike Aran trying to fend him off. Had some great shots, did Mike, in that third and final round, but Henzo Gracie does not feel that he did enough to get the victory. No, definitely, I believe uh, Azatar won that one. Well, as we know in the world of MMA, stranger things have happened. Definitely, so stay definitely. tuned. We'll get the official word to you in just moments. I want to remind you, coming up later tonight, live on NBCSN, you'll see the full fight card, WSOF 33, all leading up to the main event of the night. David Branch taking on Brazilian sensation Vinny Magalhães in a five-round bout as David Branch puts his light heavyweight title belt on the line. The conclusion of this welterweight bout between Abu Azatar and Mike Runt well, the decision momentarily, but Abu Azatar with a very strong performance came out tentative in the first of the three rounds in the first minute or two. But Enzo Gracie, once he developed the confidence and the skill which he already had for the takedown, he made it work in both the first and second rounds. So final tabulations being made, and we are moments away from giving you an official result here at WSOF 33 in this welterweight bout between Abu Azatar and Mike Arant. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges, Henry Gary, Ross Swanberg, and Brent Miller score this fight 30 to 27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Abu Gladiator. Confirming exactly the fight that I saw. Yep. So a unanimous decision goes the way of Abu Azitar. His record now 13 and 1. With a strong performance here in Kansas City as we check in with Joey. All right, thank you very much, Todd. Abu, you put it on display. You are effective with your punches, your kicks, your wrestling looks sharp. How satisfied are you with your performance tonight? Uh, first. Big thanks to WSF to give me the chance to fight here. And thank you, I'm Kansas City, very beautiful city. Thank you very much. Very, very nice city. I love it. And the second big, the power is coming from my family. My brother Otman, he's now in Germany. I'm my mother and my father. And also, and all Morocco, I love Morocco. Long life the king and also from my corner. Give me the power to be strong today. And the biggest and the first, thanks to God, Allahu Akbar. All right, well, you definitely were strong and powerful tonight. One of your most powerful weapons was the right body kick. You fired it over and over again. You're facing a southpaw opponent. Was that part of your strategy coming to this fight? Yes, it was all, always what we worked with the tournament. But we saw that he punched very hard and he's very sharp. That's why I go to his body, I hit him three times, then he 
show that was very active and uh, the punches were painful. That one I go always to the body, then you saw that his was blocked. You moved to 2-0 and oh in the World Series of Fighting with two impressive victories over two tough fighters. What's next for you in the World Series of Fighting? I don't know. I wait uh, of my manager Ali. He told me that we're going to make a big step. Then we show what Allah, what God right for me. Then we're going to show what the next step. Well, I can't wait to see the next step. Abu, congratulations on a big victory tonight. Thank you very much and big thank to Morocco. I love you, Otman and my family. Thank you, everybody. I love you.